Hello everyone. Today, I'll explain how to use the new goal and habit tracker I've prepared. Let's dive right into the video. If you want to keep your data without deleting it every month, start by duplicating the page. Select the month and year you want to use. The page will automatically update based on your selection. You'll see today's date at the top, along with a clear button. I've prepared this button for those who want a fresh start every month without saving their data. Clicking it will reset the entire page and prepare it for a new month. I'll also demonstrate how the button works at the end of the video. Now let's take a look at the goal tracker section. Here you can set up to six goal categories. The titles are fully customizable to fit your personal needs. You can set up to 10 goals for each category, which I'll quickly fill in. Check off the goals you've accomplished. You can see the total number of goals for each category and how many you've completed. Additionally, a pie chart will automatically show the completion percentage for each category. Moving on to the section above, it's also entirely automated. You'll find a column chart comparing achieved goals to set goals for each category. The second chart displays the percentage breakdown of goals by category. The third chart illustrates overall goal progress as a completion percentage. Now let's move to the habit tracker section. Based on the month and year you've selected, a one month tracker will be automatically generated. First, let's list the daily habits. Enter how many days you aim to complete each habit in a month. Check off the days you've completed. I'm filling this in quickly. Under the actual column, the number of days you've performed each habit in a month is automatically calculated. A completion percentage and progress bar are generated by comparing it to your goal. If you've completed a habit at 85% or more of your goal, you'll earn a trophy. Looking at the upper section, it's also entirely automated. First, let's check the right side. Overall habit progress shows the completion percentage of all your habits for the month. The vertical progress bars in the middle display the completion percentage of all habits for each day. If your daily completion percentage is 85% or more, you'll earn a star for that day. Under Earned Rewards, the total number of stars and trophies you've earned is calculated. Lastly, we see the top six most successful habits, ranking the best six habits for the month based on completion percentage. It's as simple as that. And all the charts are automatically calculated, making it suitable for everyone and fully customizable. Now let's take a look at the clear button I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you don't want to save your data, you can easily clear the page to prepare it for a new month using the clear button. You need to grant permission for the clear button to work the first time you use it. Simply click the button, and after a brief moment, you'll see an authorization required message. Click OK, select your email address, click Advanced, then go to Clear Data, and finally, Allow. Once you've granted this permission, the clear button will work smoothly. I'll click the button to reset the page and wait a moment. As you can see, the entire page has been cleared and is ready for a new month. That's all for the video. I hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoyed creating it. You can check out the template at the link below. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.